In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Peace be with you. Our today's lesson is about the birth of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. The title for our today's lesson is, Who is in Town? The real truth is that Santa is not coming to town, but Jesus most certainly is. And this is the story we better start telling to our children, our family, and for our congregation. Who is Santa or Santa? Some people told that the concept of Santa is rooted in the real Nicholas. You know, according to Ethiopian, he is Alanikos or Hellenicus, Bishop of Myra, dating to the 4th century. Nicholas inherited a large amount of money and used much of his fortune to help the poor. Nicholas gave freely to meet the needs of people around him, fulfilling the commands of Christ to aid the poor. That's fine. So, who is Santa? Santa truly has been created to be a fake Jesus, a false Jesus to the secular world. The false Jesus is the Antichrist. Our Lord Jesus told us in uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 23 to 25 says, Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. So the Antichrist is Satan. Satan is the Antichrist. By the way, Santa is equal to Satan. How? There is no doubt that the plan to produce the new world order of Santa is identical to the biblical prophecy of how Satan is going to act in the end of the age. Santa took the place of Jesus the place of our Lord, the place of your Lord, your God. He is the glory robber. That's why he's fallen from heaven. In Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 to 14, uh, says, Why is the devil cast down? How you are fallen from heaven? Isaiah asks, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how you are cut down to the ground. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation, on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the highest of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. The devil thinks he will be like the Most High, like Santa Claus. He is like the Most High. This is the hidden message of Santa Claus, the devil message, the devil concept. For some people, before you react negatively to quickly, please take the time to see this anagram of the word Santa. What does it mean, anagram? You can Google in your dictionary. You can find the meaning there. What does it mean, anagram? Anagram means in a noun form. Anagram means a word or phrase or sentence 
formed from another by rearranging its letters. This is the noun form. In the verb form, anagram means to form the letters of a text into a secret message by rearranging them. Or to rearrange the letters of a text so as to discover a secret message, a hidden message, a secret message. So, Santa, it's not hard to see who's really behind this traditional story. Who is behind Santa's concept? Just switch to little letters and you will see the answer. Santa or Satan. It is no coincidence that Santa is an anagram of the word Satan. Santa is equal to Satan. Satan is equal to Antichrist. The story behind the hidden message of Santa distorted the true birth of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Let me show you the true story of the birth of Jesus in the Bible and who is in town for our salvation, for our redemption. Go to Luke chapter 2. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a bear wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. So, this is the story of the gospel. This is the story of our Lord Jesus Christ written in the gospel. It says, for there is a bore to you this day in the city of the David, in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Jesus is in town. Our Lord is in town. Our God is in town. Our Savior is in town. The city of David is Bethlehem. In the allegorical meaning, the city of uh, David or Bethlehem is our queen, Holy Virgin Mary. Holy Virgin Mary is the temple for our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Bethlehem means house of bread. So, Holy Virgin Mary is the house of eternal bread of life, the house of God. She is the house of Jesus Christ. He became flesh from her. From her, our Savior became a humble child. He was a baby and a child so that you may be a perfect human. He was wrapped in swaddling clothes so that you may be freed from the snares of death. As Haimanot Abo, the face of our father's book, says he was in a manger so that you may be in the throne. He was on earth that you may be in the heaven. He had no other place in the E so that you may have many mansions in the heavens. The benefit is ours. As St. Paul, the blessed Paul, wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, He being rich, become poor for your sex, that through his poverty you might be rich. This is the true story of Christmas. The 
true story of our Lord and God, Jesus' birth. He is in town, not Santa or Satan. Let me conclude. If Santa Claus has taken the glory from Jesus Christ in your family's celebration of the birth of Jesus, maybe it is time to seriously consider changing the celebration. What I would ask is that you examine your decisions in the light of what Scripture teaches, what our Lord teaches. This time, one of the greatest false idols of modern Christianity is Santa Claus. Devil is a liar. Satan is a liar. He wants us to keep you from the truth. That's why you forgot the birth of Jesus Christ and you celebrated Santa Claus. Jesus is the truth, not Santa. Jesus is the life, not Satan. Our life is Jesus. Our Redeemer is Jesus. According to 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, our Lord Jesus Christ is faithful and He just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Not Santa. Only Jesus forgive us. Jesus is our gift for our redemption, for our salvation, for our eternal life. The Gospel of the Blessed John says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him, whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. That's why the angel said to the shepherds, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people, for all people. Jesus is for all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign of you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Not the images of Santa in a red coat, or not the fat and jolly Santa clothes. Our sign is Jesus. Your sign for your redemption is Jesus Christ with his mother in a manger. As the angel said, and this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. God bless you all. Amen. Let me ask you one final question. Are you leading your life to the truth? Please, leave comments below. Glory be to God. Amen.